Hello guys, this is Aqua with some Final Fantasy Ever Crisis content. Sorry for being a day late, but I had some work to do. But let's get into this video and what it's about. It's about this banner. And I hear a lot of people say this and that, but there's some good points and there's some bad points to this banner. So let's look at the costumes and the weapons as a whole. And once we get through, I'll give you my overall assessment. But as far as aesthetics go, this... <laughs> This is, this is like, it's like your forever home. This is kind of like your forever costume. This is like the in-game costume for like Cloud or something. Like he gets all his powers and this is the costume he gets. Very well designed. I like everything about it. It's very Final Fantasy 7-ish. Kind of Kingdom Hearts. So really good. So Saber Style is actually a Frostblade Arcanum costume. And it has everything that Cloud could ever want to build the Ice God build. So I want you to pay attention to that. So in the later part of this video, you'll understand my thoughts concerning this. So Stream Saber. Stream Saber is aesthetically a very beautiful sword, but it comes with a lot of punch. So when you get to your like base one off, you're getting 500 physical ice damage. Understand that that is like certain weapons right now at max value actually give you 500 damage. So that's not bad because the damage potency, as you can tell, is already pretty high. So when you take it to OB6, you're getting the 34 points and the 24 points. And you're giving you're getting 740% physical ice damage, which is absolutely insane. That number is actually higher than Murasame. So keep that in mind. So we jump up and you're hitting 900 physical ice damage, which is absolutely bonkers. So this is like pure power creep. And the power creep only continues when we look at boost physical attack or allies. So when you look at this, understand that this actually does stack on top of your own personal physical attack boost. So you can actually reach some scary numbers with this. A lot of players have been playtesting it. I've seen a lot of Facebook posts and it's getting really ridiculous. So we misinterpreted limit break. They're talking about breaking the limit of stat potential. That's what they're talking about with these weapons because these weapons allow you to break thresholds and damage that you otherwise could not break. And we'll talk about that at the end of what that might entail. So this is actually a really awesome R ability. And I like it a lot, but I'm scared. So when we look at this, we're getting the Sigil Boost Circle, which is pretty awesome on Cloud. Because he has Triangle, he has X, he has Circle. All on his Arcanum weapon. So this is really good, really good. And you're getting Boost Physical Attack. It's really good. It's it's something liking that we'll talk about later. But overall, this is an amazing weapon. So hats off to them. Love the design. So let's get into Glenn. Glenn is something of an anomaly to me. Right? You know, I mean, aesthetically, I think this costume is worse than Cloud's. It looks really stupid to me. It's like they got it right with Cloud, but... You're getting the goofy secondary subhero vibes with this costume. Like he is destined to be like two steps behind Cloud, not in front, not at the side. You know, just like muscle. Like, hey Cloud, where we're we going? Type deal. <laughs> this is what I'm getting, bro. Holy crap! What, what, were they, what were they thinking? Okay, whatever. So let's get into Vanguard style. What excites me about this costume? What makes it an anomaly? First is Waterblade Arcanum. We have not seen this yet. This makes this very enticing because it comes on Glenn. And Glenn is a player that I think, in my personal opinion, the devs are building to be the next big thing. Because a lot of stuff is lining up for him. And look at him and look at Zach. And I think the meta is going to be going in their direction. It's already going in Sephiroth. 
Aerith and Tifa. But this guy, this guy's the anomaly because he's looking like he's going to be the next big thing. Vanguard Styles making him the next big thing. So, yeah. That's, yeah. We're looking at the next big thing. So, it's pretty much the same thing with Cloud except Water, which is actually really awesome. You're getting 40 points of P attack all allies and 30 percent 36 points of boost water potency so i want you to understand that i look at this in the frame of my first soldier team that's why i'm actually going to summon on this banner because this actually really really helps the first soldier team that i'm building i can't express how good this weapon is for first soldier because like i struggle sometimes in order to configure like Weapon sets in order to complement all the characters on the team. Like, if you build Matt a certain way, he's only going to, like, do nothing attack, right? Because if you build him in the full healer set that makes him so good, he's not going to have much attack. So this really helps. This really helps a pure first soldier team. Does it help everybody? Probably not. But this is really good for me. So support material, he actually has the same thing that Cloud has. And that's not bad. The only problem is that we actually have a weapon that already gives him circle siege boost, and that's his automatic. So, yeah. But everything else is really good. So everything is looking great. So, why am I conflict? I am conflicted on this banner. The first thing I'll say, and don't get me wrong. But this is the truth, and I think people in the community just need to admit it. The Tifa banner was way better than this banner. And I know that people will argue this, but some people won't. The Tifa banner was way better than this. If you spent all your crystals on the Tifa banner, and you see this banner, you gotta hand it to Tifa. Tifa got the better weapon. Um... Her weapon is just doing so much more. So her costume is doing so much more. Because she's basically got the physical attack version of Arcanum. Which basically just boosts up all your physical attacks. So she really doesn't really need an elemental Arcanum. So you don't even need that. And that works on any elemental weapon. I play tested her weapon using the fire that's material slot is she's basically got like what fire elemental mastery damage so even if you put like a thunder material or a water material on it the damage will be lower but it is very serviceable so when you look at this raw output and long-term potential tifa's got this banner b if you summon on the tifa banner and you spent all your crystals I hate to say it, but you're not missing out on much. To add on insult to injury, there's already two ice weapons out there. Actually, three ice weapons out there, if you want to be honest. Because I use Aerith as an ice damage dealer. Because she has ice mastery on her Christmas costume. Sephiroth has ice arcanum already. Tifa has ice arcanum already. So... The value of Ice Arcanum is not very high in the first place. So, going over to Glenn. Water Arcanum is good, but there are ways to cheat water damage. And that way is Zack. I have played a lot of co-op going against this certain boss in particular. Zack's weapon, like at OB6... Helps out everybody on the team. So if you have Cloud with his water weapon. If you have Zack. I mean you have your water team right there. The only thing that actually saves this banner is the R ability. I know that's pretty cold. But it's the truth. If they had like basic P attack R abilities. This will be like a full-blown skip, honestly. Full-blown skip. If they didn't have boost, P-attack, all allies, 
and Glenn wasn't on the batter, this would be a hard skip for me. I, I, I don't mean to sound cruel or anything, but I, I played Tifa with guy gloves. You're just getting more out of it over a long period of time because she's hitting 1,300 at max investment. And even like at five stars, she's doing really good. Once I get her weapon to six stars, that's going to be like a thousand, a thousand percent damage on top of her R ability and her and her costume. It's, it's going to be hard for them to compete with that. And unfortunately, if they didn't have like the P attack all, be a skip, dude. And I know that I'm going to summon on the batter. But that's only because I'm just trying to build my first soldier team because I like it. And that's it. If I was a non-paying player, this would be a very hard skip for me. Very hard skip. Unless, which I want to talk about two things and I'll end the video. Maybe they're going to raise the difficulty of content. Because when you think about it, Boost P attack all gives you a lot of flexibility when building a party. So say if you were a well and you got 40 points of P attack all, oh, that's shared by everybody. That means you have slots to put attack or HP. So are they making it hard for... Are, are they going to make the content harder? Is that it? Because that's what these weapons represent. It, they, they call it limit break because they're breaking the limit of your stat allocation. We've got guys hitting 5,558 attack. So how are they going to placate these wells? You know, I mean, that's the question. And lastly, if you look at the totality of cloud, maybe it is a little more enticing to you because cloud has ice arcanum with this um, new costume. Cloud has Lightning Arcanum with his old costume. Cloud has Fire Arcanum with his New Year's costume. And think about this, Shiva, Efreet, Ramu. This is the last piece if you wanted to make the Ice God build for Cloud because he'll have Ice God build, he'll have Fire, fire god build and he would have lightning god build i mean that would make him one of the most flexible arcanum dps's in the game i mean that's something that you as a player might want to look at but final thoughts is for wells it's not a must summon if you're like a dolphin you might want to save your tickets but if you're a free-to-play player it's a hard skip and you just have to think about it like that. And if you want to, you can just wait. We have like six weeks of this, so you don't have to rush it. I just want to play with Glenn because I like playing with Glenn. That's just me personally. But from a professional like standpoint, you can skip, man. And I don't think you, you would suffer a penalty unless they raise the difficulty cap. But then when they usually do that, they raise the level cap anyway. So I don't think it would be a problem. And they're, and they're going to raise the weapon level cap. So I, I'm not sure. But anyways, if you like my content, hit the like, share, subscribe button. Just let me know your thoughts on this. Seriously. Because this does represent a lot of things that can go in a lot of different directions. If someone has information that I don't have, just please share it with me. Because I, I want to know just as much as you do. And the community would appreciate it. But anyways... Laters.